right guys bought the uh Sirimoto rear carbon fiber strawberries um why did i get this i guess i just wanted to finish my brace mods for my car uh basically um i just had a couple more parts to get so i was just like hey i was kind of bored too i just wanted to start doing all these simple mods before i decide to do uh my motor rebuild so uh this will just be an unboxing if you guys want to see an installation just go to pro civic on google or on youtube and they have put in pro civic rear bar and it has it on there um they go at step by step installation but uh just wanted to do a quick unboxing Damn. Hold on, let me put this shit down. So, they packaged it really well. And here's the bar. That's it. I uh, got the bushings that came with it. Uh, two. Oh, man. All right. Two for the top mount, two on the bottom. And this works for eighth and ninth gen so i'm probably gonna have to open this up um hold on a second Real carbon fiber is not wrapped. I think this thing only weighs 500 grams. Um, very light. And let's get the bushing real quick. Polyurethane bushings, I believe. Feels like it, so. Price was uh, just over 100 bucks. Uh, definitely worth the price. Um, I mean, definitely. I don't know. I mean, does it really help? I mean, I guess it helps if you're tracking it, but probably the best thing to do is uh, just cage your car if you want rigidity and stiffness. But uh, like I said, I just wanted to finish my brace. I got the front lower ba brace, the trunk brace, got the front strut mount bar, and now I just wanna put the rear strut mount bar. I was gonna put the rear tie bar in the back. Um, maybe, we'll see. Uh, does Don't wanna get the W brace because I think two of the bolts that bolt onto the w brace to the subframes you got to use super glue so i was just thinking it's like damn what if um i wanted to like undo everything again you know what's going to hold it from the top uh bracket to loosen up the bolt so now watch another video it was a kind of a pain in the ass to get it off so um definitely if i'm going to replace the motor do, have, have a couple more things that i want to do to the front end of the car um so i do definitely want to get the um What's it called? Man, I forget, but it's the blocks makes them and spoon makes them. Uh, rigid collars for the subframe. Definitely gonna do that once I change the motor and no, I'm not gonna take the subframe off anymore. I just wanna put that in with my, uh, when I wanna put the new motor in. So uh, that's about it for suspension. Maybe definitely in the future, take the rear seats out. And um, yeah, so, 
my next couple mods do want to get a front splitter, side splitter, maybe get the front racing seats for the driving side, driver side. Definitely gonna want to get a lithium battery, lightweight battery. Um, that should help. And other than that, my next major mod will be uh, motor build. So uh, that's about it. I'll probably go install this bar here today. I'll probably s take some pictures and um, post a video after this. All right, guys. Till next time. All right, guys. <clears throat> quick review. Uh, finished installing the Sirimoto carbon fiber rear strut bar. Uh, excuse the mess. I usually keep things in my trunk. Uh, probably gonna clean it out here shortly, but. Um, all right, this install was supposed to take like five minutes tops, maybe 10. And um, this shit took four, took me, <coughs> took me about an hour, hour and a half. So you guys probably wondering why did it take so long? When you bolt this on, on the top of your strut, your coilover, whatever you got, the centerpiece where you turn to click, uh, change the damping settings, that piece was way too big for the uh, hole at the end of the strut bar. So I don't have any tools in the garage, really, any major tools. Had to go to the store, buy a, um, <coughs> buy a drill, and drill it out. And uh, I think it was a half inch bit that I had to drill a hole in it. And finally, when I did that, um, man, it was, it was a pain. Metal shavings everywhere. I got my clothes, on my hands, metal shaving splinters, whatever. Once I did that, I installed that. And um, I was a little frustrated. I was like, man, because it was late, I was like, hey, I'm just going <coughs> to finish this up, install it, test it and it didn't go as smooth so after i actually usually when i install a part i go and uh test it test it out this one i was just so frustrated i was like man f this so i um finished cleaned up and uh parked the car <coughs> excuse me parked the car and uh forgot about it so the very next day i get in my car completely forgot i installed it and uh, i was driving to work and I was like, hey, this car handles a little bit better. Like I felt like the rear being a little bit more planted. So I know it was a totally placebo because I was just like, I completely forgot that I installed it. And when I drove around, it was like, damn, something changed in my car. Then it struck me. I was like, oh, I, ch I added the rear strut bar. So I don't know if it was an inner placebo, knowing that I did install the bar, I don't know but um it did help a little bit so i think it's definitely worth the upgrade it was only like a hundred something bucks and uh looks nice is real carbon fiber i think it only weighs um 500 grams and um it adds a little touch to the uh rear trunk brace that i got back there and um you know once i clean all this up i think it'll look nice so um definitely worth it i think um if you're just looking up to upgrade your suspension here and there i've tried to add all the braces i still don't have the lower one I, there's a low lower tie one tie bar for the rear uh, i didn't do the w brace because um i this car gets worked on a lot and you have to like glue some part and i, I don't want to do all that uh there's a couple of braces that i saw that i might install but i think that's about it for braces like the next one i probably will do is the one that goes underneath there and there and uh that'll probably be it and then maybe in the future upgrade the um upgrade the uh coilovers again uh go with redshift uh they do bc racing and i might upgrade to that get custom uh damping settings custom uh spring rates and everything like that because i think with this car it's like mostly i do like turns but it's mostly a straight line car so i might go with uh 20 or 22k spring rate in the rear and the front definitely would want um 14 to 16 12s i have on there they're still kind of floaty i mean they're a lot better than they were with the 10s but i think 14 16 will do it and um 20 22 in the rear i think it will be good but anyways this video's 
gone way longer than I expected. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick review of the Ciromotor rear strut bar, carbon fiber strut bar. So um, definitely worth the buy. And until uh, next time.